Hey there, Greg Deckler for Enterprise DNA. Today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit different of a video than I normally post. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, showing you some formatting tricks for uh, matrix visualizations. So what I have here is a very simple data model consisting of a calendar table. Uh, so if I take a look here, I've just got my calendar for this year, essentially. I've got a weekday column that I've formatted to return back the day of the week. I have a month column that I've formatted to return back the month. And then, of course, my month sort column. And my month is set to be sort by uh, my month sort column. So pretty simple. Um, what I've then done is I've created uh, three uh, measures over here, metric one, metric two, metric three. And then I've just formatted this visualization as a matrix. And then I've set the row to be the weekday column, the columns to be the month, and then my three measures over here as my values. So as you can see, it, uh, it shows a very simple kind of uh, uh, matrix that's fairly common, I think. Um, and before I get too far ahead of myself, I do want to call out a longtime customer of mine, Bo Hall, uh, for showing me this trick. Um, so, you know, the, the issue with this matrix is that um, it's a little bit difficult visually to tell which measure belongs with which with with which month. It's you know, it takes a little bit of, of a squinting, perhaps, wherever to, you know, understand, OK, these these three measures go with this month or whatever. It's it's not that it's impossible to do, but it's just not uh, it's just not obvious. Right. So if we want to make it a little more obvious, uh, of course, we have, um, you know, Power BI does have the concept of grids, grid lines. So in this case, and you can see they're very faint uh, by default, but I've turned on the grid lines, the vertical grid lines here. And you can see that it at least gives me some distinct, you know, some way to visually kind of group these together. Um, and that's obviously that's done. If I select my visual, go to my grid settings, I can switch on my vertical grid lines, and then by default, they're kind of these faint grid lines that appear. Now, obviously, I can make this a little more obvious. I can turn, I can change those grid lines to be a little darker color, black in this case. So I've set here, I've gone into vertical grid lines, and I've set my color here to be black. And that gives me, a, you know, it's, now it's a little more obvious in terms of what's going on here. Um, but it's sort of this, this, this little line here, it, it, you know, it's the same size as these other lines, and it's still not really what I would want. And if I was in Excel, right, I would probably grab the, I would select these um, cells, and then I would put a thick border around them, right, just to really make it obvious that these things belong together, right? But try as I might, I was not able to find anything um, where I, I can't set this, you know, the border thickness or anything by, um, you know, per individual column or anything like that. Um, you know, I can't do it under the grid. I can't do it if I go down a specific column and I select, you know, I don't even have the selection to select my, my month column up here. So, I mean, I've looked around and around in here and I haven't been able to find anything that allows me to really do what I want to do. Um, now, that's not to say that it's impossible. There is a, a formatting trick that uh, I will show you that allows you to achieve a result like this. So now, just by looking at this, it's I've got my nice thick borders here, and these I can tell that all of these things belong together. Um, it's just very obvious visually. Um, I think it's a little more visually appealing than any of the other ones that are uh, any of the, these other ones that I have. Um, it just looks very clean, and it's very natural grouping of of values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and show you how to build this visual. So to do that, you're going to go over here. We're going to select this visual. We're going to copy it to a new page. And now what you're going to now what I'm going to do and, and just as a side note here, you can tell that I have uh, the one the only formatting that I've done on these is I've done, put in a center alignment on these, which I think looks a lot nicer than if I was to do this. You know, maybe this is a little more visually apparent as to where the next grouping is starting, but I, it's, it's I'm not a fan of it, right? I'd rather much rather have my headers all nice and centered. So, what we can do 
uh, to achieve that effect is uh, we, what we start by doing is creating a measure. It doesn't really matter what you call this measure. I'm going to call mine separator one. And I like to use the pipe character for this. It doesn't really matter what character you use. You could use a space, use a period. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create that measure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that measure. I'm going to drag it down here and add it to the bottom. So now you can see I've got my separator one column with these pipe characters in it. And obviously, that to be separator, so I'm just going to rename this. And again, you can name it to space or something like that. I'm going to rename it to a pipe character again. Um, and now I've got these, this, this extra column, if you will, here. So now what I'm going to do, now what I can do in Power BI, I can go down to this specific column. I can select my pipe character. And I can set the background color to be black, which is, you know, match it up with my foreground color. So now I've got this black bar here. Obviously, I kind of want this to extend up and down into the total in the header, so I can flick those toggles on. So now I've got my nice black thick borders. And then what I want to do with a little bit of mouse dexterity and steadiness, I can grab these and just shrink them right up to their minimum width. like so sometimes it's a little bit hard with gotta keep your mouse steady especially if you have your mouse sensitivity settings set pretty high like i tend to do but again i can just shrink all these up and now i have what i feel is a much better looking visual that i can just you know just in an instant visually i can tell all of these things are grouped together um i think it's a very clean look so versus, and you know, you could go back in, you could flick on your vertical grid lines if you wanted to get these up a little higher, but they're never going to be the same thickness. Um, so, you know, I don't think that that's a really good, I'd rather, I think it looks weird, if you will. So I'd rather just keep them the way they are. I think this is sufficient, uh, providing me my groupings that I want. And uh, it looks looks very clean and, and very naturally flows, if you will. Um, I can just look at this an instant. I know exactly what's going on. So, again, my uh, deep appreciation for Bo Hall for showing me this trick. I think I thought it was a good one, and figured I'd share it with everyone else. So that's it for this video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.